All right, we're here at the Bill residence access uh, to the left side of the house. Come around the outdoor unit. Come with a new electrical disconnect and whip. Uh, unfinished space uh, to the mechanical closet in the basement. So let's just go ahead and, and replace the line set as well. The pad is setting on an existing concrete pad. Go ahead and leave that in place. It's pretty buried, uh, but just level that out. Come back with the poly pad right on top of it. Should be nice and level. Any questions? All right, we're here in the basement of the Bill residence. Uh, it's not a walkout basement. Our access point is going to be down the stairs uh, from the, the center of the home. There's a mechanical closet that's going to be here in the center. We'll go in there in just a second. Uh, line set. Uh, if we're going back with a four ton, we're going to need to, to replace that like we discussed outside uh, with the seven eighths. In the mechanical closet here, our electrical panel is back on that wall. It's on a double pole 30. First thing, drain line is right here, about a six foot run over to a customer. Doesn't care if we go back with vinyl or if we attach PVC. Existing flue goes to a stack uh, with a T. Uh, it already has a transition piece. Looking at full replacements, current 120,000 D-width furnace, uh, supply plenum in the same way, it matches up to it in the coil. We do have space, depending on if we, we come back with a, a larger AC unit uh, to do a full wrap around and be able to get the, the five inch media cabinet. We need to bump this over just slightly uh, so that we've got room to come in with the five inch uh, media cabinet to get the new furnace on a base, rework uh, the supply plenum. As far as our electrical, customer has a humidifier on the back, uh, looking at replacing that as well, it's not working. Reset our electrical. We do our gas, it's gonna be a little tricky where it connects to the hot water heater. Uh, it's a flex, flex to the wa hot water heater. Uh, so we can probably rework this. New gas shutoffs, union. We'll come back into the unit. New return duct work down the floor so we can get the base added in, or excuse me, the filter added in. Like I was saying, there's room to get around if we do need to need to do a wrap around, uh, and then removing the, the existing humidifier and uh, potentially going back with a with a humidifier. Got a saddle tap connection. Our line's very close. Uh, for connecting to a new humidifier. Currently get a 20 by 25 by one uh, filter. Any questions, let me know. All right, so this is the, the floor register that goes into the bottom of the pantry in the upstairs. Uh, it's about six or seven feet from the, the main supply truck in front of them. But it just pops up into that pantry and it's a huge ductwork going to it and just the residual air is, is making it hotter than what they want. They just want to cap that off. Uh, just take that, the existing off of it that's attached to this supply truck. Uh, and then put a cap over the top of it. Oh, Customer is wanting to detach this vent, uh, the register that's underneath their, their pantry. Uh, they've got it closed off. I uh, just want to go ahead and get it capped from where it comes off of the supply trunk. Uh, 